Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Brother Almighty. Man, I want to salute to everybody that's been joining my channel. Welcome and everything. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate it. And I definitely want to salute to everybody that's been with me since day one. Y'all be showing me nothing but love, leaving positive comments on my channel and everything. Um, but I definitely want to apologize to everybody. I've been slacking. I haven't been pushing out a lot of content and a lot of reactions. I've just been... You know, working a lot because, you know, my job is my number one priority and everything. And I love what I do with my job. So, you know, I've been slacking a little bit, but um, I'm definitely going to be pushing more content and reactions. But I'm going to be honest with everybody. I lost my to do list. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to react to. I definitely will be getting to it. Um, anyone that be watching the end of my videos on my reactions, I always say on to the next reaction. And I showed a video that um, I showed a small clip of a video that I'm going to react to. In case you guys are ever taking notice, um, that's something I do. Also, you know, I do a little um, lightning and thunder that uh, thunder um, effects with the uh, fires and stuff. When I do stuff like that, just let everyone know that means I personally like it. Um, I think it was dope. So when you see stuff like that, Brother Mike just leaving his little stamp mark um, because I think it's dope and everything um also man if you guys like um brother tyrone you know big shout out to carol hall um carol hall um she called uh called him brother tyrone i just called him tyrone so that's what i'm gonna call call him from now on uh, brother tyrone if you guys want to see more brother tyrone say hey do i want you to do a reaction but at the after you say the per uh, what you want me to react to just say i want brother tyrone to react to this and, you know, if I get a certain amount of likes to uh, to what you suggested, I definitely will bring Brother Tyrone and let him do the reactions and everything. But, man, now to the topic. Um, I'm noticing a lot of weird things happening on YouTube, especially in the YouTube community. Um, I know it probably for most people it really doesn't matter because I'm not a big uh, channel yet. But I feel like, you know, it should be addressed. It should be talked about. Um, I don't like seeing, I don't like what I'm seeing with, um, the situation with screwing up church. I like both people, you know, I think they're both amazing artists. They're v both very talented. I feel like this is, you know, becoming a little silly. If you want to be honest, it's looking pretty silly because, you know, I see other people who are reacting, um, and, you know, doing their job, reacting, doing a good, you know, good intake and what how they feel about the um yeah uh the, the disses that's happening you know because they're there for the bars if you're part of hip-hop you know you always want to be there for the you know the bars and what's going on um i do notice that reactors are not supposed to be biased um you try not to you're not supposed to try to favor one over the other you just want to listen to the bars and then afterwards you give your intake you judge um but I notice a lot of weird people, like not let's just say weird people, but I know a lot of certain people have been like coming at school like negatively, saying like the most craziest things to, about to him. And I've seen a lot of uh, weird people. Do, well, not I keep saying weird. I've seen a lot of people do the same thing with Upchurch, like disgusting like reactions or talk about to the guy and everything. I'm like, bro, like that's it's it's unprofessional. It's like stepping over boundaries and you're getting too comfortable and i think a lot of people are getting too comfortable being an internet thug and really needs to just chill um like i seen one dude react and he was just like just every time he was playing music he was like oh so you want to da 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 and it was like saying some weird ignorant stuff at up church and then at the end he was talking about up church's family like you know saying all the reckless stuff at, at his family and everything. And I'm like, bruh, what are you doing? Like, that's bad. That, that's a bad look at all because one thing, if you, it's different between clowning. You can clown up church if you want. But then at the end of the day, it's like, what's your beef with the guy? You don't have to like someone's music to be, you know, you can, you have every right to not like someone's music is what I'm saying. But to be disrespectful in a way that you have to now sit and talk about their family members or talk about them out of like, go overboard when you talk about that person it, it's now becoming too personal and i think a lot of people who are doing reactions or you know are on youtube are too much involved with their emotions 
which is weird. Um, and I seen like stuff that just like a lot of people were saying about screw, and I'm just like, damn, like you guys are really in your feelings to be like disrespecting the guy, and a lot of y'all don't chill with him. I don't know neither of the guys. Would I like to meet them? Yes, I wouldn't mind meeting them one day. Um, I think they both talented artists. You know, they both contribute to hip hop, and you know, I think they're both amazing. Like I said, talented people. But this is what we're not gonna do. Nobody, nobody, unless you the the guardian, the guardian of hip hop, like the OGs, like Snoop Dogg, Jay Z, um, Ice Cube, man, the list goes on. If you're one of those pioneers that's been in hip hop for the longest time and contribute to hip hop a lot, and they have, you know, marks, they left marks after marks of showing like I contribute to hip hop. You, if you're not any of those people, to be honest. You have no right, no no saying to tell somebody that they're not hip hop, they're not a rapper. Um, I think that's the most disrespectful thing to try to say, um, try to dis uh, try to take away someone's credibility or to uh, talk about their penmanship. You don't have to like them, they like their music. Not every music is for everybody. I don't care for mumble rap. I don't. I think they got a dope beat, but I don't care for it. Now, I listen to it to be open-minded, and it's my students that are more hip to their music, so I sit there and listen to them, and I ask 21 questions, like, what did they, what are they saying? What does that mean? And stuff, and my, my students are breaking down the lyric for lyric, word for word, and everything, tell me, well, this is what they meant, and stuff, so I, I respect it, but for me, for me to sit there and say, man, this ain't hip-hop, who am I? You know? Hip hop is for everybody. Hip hop is for anyone that puts the uh, sweat and uh, the blood and sweat into it. You know, willing to get their hands dirty and put grind into uh, and contribute to hip hop. Anyone that has the love for hip hop and the culture is hip hop. You do not have the right to say that another person's not hip hop or not a rapper. Not everyone's gonna like your music. Not everyone's gonna like his music. Simple. Period. That's just how it is. Like, I didn't like country in the beginning. I thought country was, you know, too sad, too emotional, and everything. It wasn't for me. I was hip hop through and through. If it wasn't for my previous ex or whatever the case is, you know, that got me to like country music and everything, and she did something nice for my birthday, it took me out to see Zach Brown and everything at the Fenway Park in Boston. Um, I probably would have never been open-minded to more to country. So, you know, I appreciate that. You know, allow me to think outside the box and expand my mind and grow as an individual. And that's what a lot of people need to understand, yo. Hip-hop, and let me let me just say this. I'm, I'm going to draw this out for you guys. Hip-hop is a tree. And on that tree is all those branches that goes off of the tree don't worry this is an ugly tree but I'm just using that as an example this is hip hop hip hop is that tree now on tree just like any tree we have branches and stuff we have your gangster rap we have your gospel rap we have your industry rap the people who are considered pop like who are in the industry and stuff like Lil Wayne Drake, the Migos, and stuff like that. They're, they're the considered the industry rap, uh, rappers. They're the pop rappers. Then you have your underground rappers. You got your country rappers. You got your um, rock and roll rap rappers. And you got your metal rappers. Like, the list goes on. There's different, different styles of hip-hop. Because hip-hop evolves dramatically. Hip-hop is constantly evolving. So you cannot sit there and say that someone is not hip-hop because you... Have a you don't like the, the taste of that type of gender of hip hop. I don't know if that's making sense to any of you guys. Or some, if you guys understand, you know, I appreciate you guys are still listening. But it hip hop is constantly evolving. What I may not like doesn't mean someone else does not like. So, why am I gonna sit there and waste my energy and my time 
on anybody that's doing what they love doing. You know, they're making music. People, a lot of people are following them. A lot of people listen to them. They they speaking positive to that person. They doing what they love doing. Why am I gonna knock that next person down? Unless I'm jealous, I'm envy of that person. I want what they have. That's the only type of people who really does that. When you have hate and animosity towards somebody else, and you don't want to see someone succeed, you always. That's what people do. But when you're succeeding and when you're doing great in your life and when you remain positive and you have a vision and you, you're focused on that goal, nothing, you don't talk about nobody else because you're too busy building your brand. You're building your, your success. And that's what I, I want to do, man. If I get more into YouTube, I definitely want to build like a, a brand for myself that people, when they hear me, they they, they love what I say. They, they, they dig what I got to say because of... I have the 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 um the knowledge, the understanding, and wisdom, and stuff. So, so they absorb what I say and stuff, and they keep it moving. Cause when they, when they people and then when they know me, they sit there and say, "Yo, this dude has nothing but love and everything. He always keeps it positive. You know, he just speaks his mind. He keeps it ninety eight plus two. Cause you know, brother Almighty is always a hundred. But you know, man, I feel like at some time in some in certain point. You know, these two are going to have to need to have a mature conversation, sit down and talk like it's it's looking ridiculous, man. I would definitely love to see screwing up church, come making that like make a, a track together. That would be dope. You know, that would be dope. And I guarantee it will blow a lot of people's mind if they if they came out with a track. And stuff may not be right now, but somewhere down the line, the, a track is released with those two. But. You know, man, up church to me is hip hop. Up church to me is a rapper. Nobody can sit there and say that he's not. You don't have that credibility to sit there and den deny, you know, his his work ethic. You may not have to like. You don't have to like his music. It's fine. It's not for you. Let it be for those who like it. And you stay in your lane. They stay in theirs. Everyone's peachy. But if you're going to, all you're going to do is constantly focus on that person's success, focus on what that person's doing, you're looking like a hater right now. So, you know, man, I got love for both parties. I got love for the SFJ Nation. I got love for the Creek Squad. You know, I got love for Screw. I got love for Up Church, man. I got no hate for nobody. I just think it's looking silly now because I'm seeing a lot of people just, just talk ignorant and it's like, they don't even know the people like that. And they, they're talking that much hate towards that person. And, you know, maybe, you know, people are chasing the cloud. Oh, is it cloud? Clout chasing? Is that what they call it? Clout chasing. Um, so, yeah. Maybe. But, man, that being said, man, I hope you guys have a blessed night and everything. Um, whatever you guys are doing, if you're with your loved one, you know, hold them tight. If you with your animals or whatever cases, you know, pet them, you know, take, give them, let them go for a walk. If they're in-house pet, then, you know, throw a toy at them or something. You know, if you have family members or whatever cases, tell them that you love them, man. Just say, you know what, send them a text. If you got nobody, leave it in the comments. You know, I love you, brother Almighty. Thank you. And I'll sit there and say I love you back and stuff. But that being said, man, I'm out. I'm definitely, like I said, please, in the comments, let me know what you want me to react to. I'm definitely going to be reacting to them and everything. Once again, I apologize for not pushing out um, a lot of uh, content. But yeah, man, could watch me grow. Watch. I'm telling you guys, watch me blow up big. And I'm never going to change. I'm always going to be the same. That's on facts. But catch y'all later, man. Peace.